the wind has shifted. For 52 years, the wind has blown against the LGBTQIA plus community with discriminatory language in the book of discipline and the social principles of the United Methodist Church. 40 years ago, the General Conference met right here in Baltimore as part of the 200th anniversary of our denomination. At that conference in 1984, when language was adopted to ban gay clergy, members of Affirmation stood at the doors of the convention center and passed out turquoise blue pamphlets, launching the Reconciling Congregation Program. A church historian and the group said social change takes time. It will probably take about 50 years. Beth Richardson, one of the founders of RCP, said it seemed important to think about how, in the interim, to care for our siblings, even as we work to change the rules of the church. The early days of the program were all about identifying churches, congregations, individuals, and church leaders who are already on this path. Reverend Rebecca Miles recently posted, most of us know about the work of RMN and its predecessor groups in helping local churches becoming reconciling congregations that have served as faithful witnesses to full inclusion. This resolution recognizes and affirms the crucial role RMN has played with many partners to remove the exclusionary language in the Book of Discipline and to help foster a more just United Methodist Church. Despite defeats at one general conference after another, RMN faithfully worked to foster this new spirit realized at the postponed general conference to create a more inclusive and just church. Melissa Lopper reported, it was so long in coming, so anticipated and wished for, and on the May 1st consent calendar by a vote of 692 to 51, the discriminatory language that calls homosexuality incompatible with Christian teaching and prohibited the ordination of gay and lesbian people was removed from the United Methodist Book of Discipline and later the Revised Social Principles. The wind has shifted. If you're on a sailboat and the wind shifts, the captain will shout, prepare to come about. You need to duck as the boom holding the sail shifts from one side of the boat to the other so you can keep moving forward with the wind. My friends, prepare to come about. There has been a shift in the wind. Bishop, thank you for the time to recognize the tireless work of Reconciling Ministries Network, what they have done to bring us to this point, and the work that continues to help us all live into these decisions. This is a day of new beginnings as we draw the circle wide.